another derby match here and the return of the Brazilian Santos 21 goals in the second division last season for Sosha been injured comes in for his first start of this season Sosho still in the top six but hadn't won in three games but the visit here of one of the worst teams in Le Championnat Mets remember just two teams going down this season in Le Championnat and Mets may well be one to benefit from others poor form free kick curled in and a good stop eventually by Songo really difficult to hold on to this driven in by Cruce couple of goals already this season for him this is the important game for Sosho to try and get themselves back on track having started so well shot hooked in by Monsero all the pressure with Sosho great record at home John Fernandez trying to continue that ball forward now from Daff Sosho fans have really missed the impact made by Santos and they were praying for him to get a goal here and it wouldn't seem to come looks a little weary not quite match fit yet perhaps Santos the Brazilian the Mets didn't look like scoring ball played downfield to Santos great chance could he hold his nerve well he most certainly could plenty of people felt that this man would make a real impact on division one it's actually been pierre alan frau of Sosho who's done that he's out injured at the moment his normal strike partner pagis is suspended it gave santos a chance to start and how he took it one nil to Sosho on 33 minutes Mets had their influential captain frederick merrier back for this game and he launching the play here ball in half decent header by Adeoyo 17 year old making uh, his first start in the top division that was the best chance for Mets disappointingly turned over the crossbar though by Toy Sosho constantly looking for a second to Put the match beyond Mets here. Mets have won just three games in 45 here at Sosho. Terrible record looks set to continue. Another effort by Cruce with Santos in the center. And real anxiety on the Sosho bench as Mets push forward in the second half. This is Batikla the veteran. Not sure it was going in, but Fernandez did well to turn it away. He couldn't have been sure either. Merrier here with the corner. Aim towards Batikla. Good header away by Isabe. Batikla did make contact. But then as Mets push players forward, Sosha could come on the break with Isabe. Santos inside him. Men over here. One of them was Chedley, the other was Trapasso, suspicion of offside. But the goal stood. Brazilian with the first and the Argentine with the second. His fourth goal of the season, Trapasso. Santos and Trapasso, able backup to Pierre Alain Frau and Pagis. <laughs> Clear who the goal was uh, dedicated to, his little boy. And Mets at least trying to get a goal back through Merrier. Good stop by Fernandez. Albert Cartier screaming on the touchline, the Mets coach. 2 no avail though. Another win for Sosho. Great home form from them. Two goals to nil the score. So to the Breton derby. One of them anyway. The game against his old club for Olivier Monterubio of Rennes for so long a Nantes player and the Nantes fans say they miss him they've been very goal shy this season and Monterubio six so far this season has really found his form at Rennes strong feeling that Reynold Denoex was long, wrong to let him go not through to the second group phase of the Champions League still bottom of the table in France a recent upturn in form though seen them win a couple of games Mikel Landre in great form here LaRue's effort, that's a fine save by Londra. 
Wren had lost two in a row prior to this. People talking about them as candidates for relegation. And the run forward. Rather rash challenge there. Fabry flew in. Unbelievably, his delay went down. No penalty. Uh, Patrick Lamit, the referee. Last foul playing it into Ahamada. And on the follow-up, Ziani looked like he had to score. It's an unbelievable miss when you see it again. Ahamada with the effort. Only parried by Durant. And the traditional Breton pipers at half-time. Wren forward again. Challenged by Olivier Camp that time. This time penalty from Michel Lamit. That might not look like it at first glance. You see it again. Foolish challenge from Camp. Definite penalty. Foul on Reveillet. Monterubio. What a moment for him against his former club. Monterubio against Londro. Stayed on his line. He knew the technique, Londro. He knew that he'd go down the middle but couldn't keep it out. Tried to fool him and it nearly worked. So not fighting from a goal down. And Ren had chances to make it to Lucas, the profligate Brazilian dragging his shot wide. Three unbeaten in the league for not going into this game. That record in real danger. And in even more danger here. Reveillet with his first goal of the season. Making it 2-0 to Rennes, 14 minutes from time. Christian Gorkouf, the coach of Rennes, made three changes for this game, and it worked. Londro, you would think at fault for that second goal, though, having made a great stop earlier on. Not came back, De Rocher, and talking of goalkeepers, what about that from Durant? Came from Bastia, and hasn't been in such inspired form. That was curling in, though fine save and what a day for Monterubio scored against his old club off he went in a non shirt Ren win by two goals to nil four draws in seven matches at the park for Paris Saint-Germain this season and plenty of attention on the goalkeeper Ganouan for Gangle 22 year old making his first appearance in Division One. What a place to make it in front of a massive crowd at the Parc des Princes. Eric Lussuan out injured. Now, Gangon really have it over Paris Saint-Germain in recent seasons. Last season, they won by three goals to one here. The real bete noir of Paris Saint-Germain. And so much criticism of Paris Saint-Germain. Four draws in seven matches at the Parc. Haven't won here in the last four, could they? right that here Arteta's ball in comfortable save for Ganoan real confidence booster for him and Luis Fernandez is under growing pressure Paris Saint-Germain struggle to win games they haven't lost many but struggle to move up that table spent a lot of money on the Brazilians on Alex Aloisio Ronaldinho this was Alex great run from him another good save from Ganoan Thirty-five minutes before Paris Saint-Germain created a chance. Don't really have an attacking thrust, and Nelka is still out of form for them. Aloisio's had an impact. Alex, not so much thus far. And they're waiting for Ronaldinho to deliver as well. Well, he came on at half-time, attacking substitution from Fernandez. Potillon replaced. Still, Gangon came forward. The worrying thing for Fernandez here was the way that Paris Saint-Germain played. Gangon had long spells of possession. Michel, the captain, with that effort. Ganoan sorting his wall out. Ronaldinho lines these up spectacularly. Again, just wide. They really want him to be one of the great Brazilians. Such as Rai in years gone past for Paris Saint-Germain. He hasn't done it so far. Cristobal with the ball forward here. And Nelka's little flick. Lovely idea. But that just sums up Paris. Too many frills, too many flicks, and not enough end product at the moment. Real frustration in the capital. Ball forward from Ronaldinho now. 
given away this time. Christabau with an intelligent ball to Hugo Leal, and this the nightmare for the young keeper. The shot from the Portuguese player. Ganoan should have saved it. Not to mention a rather awkward bounce in front of him here as Hugo Leal teed it up. But he should have stopped it, shouldn't he, the youngster? You'd hope that he'll learn from this and Guy Lacan, the gang on coach, will keep faith with him. So much credit goes to Gangon, though. Refused to be cad. They pushed on and on at chance after chance. Givash is ball in. It looked like it wasn't going to come good for Guy Lacan and Co. Barre's ball wide. Powerful run forward and chance for Tasfayut, but important challenge on him by Heinze. Then with time running out, Fiorez with the ball in, and the shot driven in. Sassi with the effort, always rising wide. Still, they had time to try and create something. Tasfayut this time. Givash, who says, by the way, he can still play in the next World Cup. And here, the controversial moment. Letizy backing away. The assistant referee gave it. The assistant referee said that Letizy walked it back into his own goal. You could argue that how could he possibly see it with Sassi's header. Givash's ball in. And you see as he's backpedaling. And this shot, look at the left foot, it's way over the line. That looks like it's over. But from this shot, looks like he kept it out. Not the best angle to see. I think it's very hard for the assistant to see from where he was. But it also looked like it was just over. Ilacon's men certainly deserved the draw. Whether the means were quite fair, who knows. But final score 1-1.